Good afternoon. This afternoon, we will be providing an update on a tragic act of violence in Barhaven that has left six people deceased, including four young children, as well as one injured male. Before I continue, I want to acknowledge that this has been a very difficult, complex, and active investigation. Some of the details we will share today are disturbing. Here's what we can tell you. At about 10.52 yesterday evening, the Ottawa Police Service received two 911 calls from the Berrigan Drive area reporting a suspicious incident where a male was yelling and asking people to call 911. Our team was immediately dispatched and the first officer arrived on scene minutes later. As multiple units began to arrive, officers identified a suspect who was quickly arrested without incident. Paramedics were also called and were arriving. Officers entered the home to check on the safety of those inside, and that is where they began to discover the six victims, the youngest of which is less than three months old. The family are newcomers to Canada and are originally from Sri Lanka. We have been working to advise the families of the deceased, many of whom are overseas. The father and husband of the victims was found at the scene and was injured. He was taken to hospital where he is in serious but stable condition. The deceased are 35-year-old Darshani Bombar Anayake Ekanayake. She is the mother of the children. Their seven-year-old son, Anuka Wikrama Singhe. Their four-year-old daughter, Ashwini. Their two-year-old daughter, Rinayana and their two-and-a-half-month-old daughter, Kelly. Also found deceased is 40-year-old Americone Gamini Americone, who is an acquaintance of the family who has been living at the home. He recently arrived in Canada. The investigation has found that an edged weapon was used to cause the deaths and injuries. To be clear, this was a mass killing, not a mass shooting. We have arrested and charged a 19-year-old male, Frank D'Souza, with six counts of first-degree murder and one count of attempted murder. The accused is a Sri Lankan national who is believed to have been in Canada as a student. I'll, emph I'll emphasize he is the only suspect. We know there are a lot of questions about why this tragedy occurred. This is the focus of our homicide unit as they diligently investigate this tragic crime. Our investigators and forensic teams are working very hard to determine all of the facts and ensure justice is done. But that also means we must maintain the integrity of the investigation for court. I want to emphasize, this was a senseless act of violence perpetrated on purely innocent people. I know our whole community is shocked and mourning this event. I want to offer my condolences to the loved ones of all the victims for this unimaginable loss. We are offering supports and we know the community is mobilizing. We have reached out to the community leaders, their temple and the Sri Lankan High Commission. We will ensure that we maintain that communication to assist their community. Of note, two of the children attended local schools and we have also reached out to the school board. We ask that anyone needing support, please reach out to the Distress Centre, available 24-7 at 613-238-3311. This one will undoubtedly weigh on the hearts of everyone for a long time. A vigil has been established at the Palmdeo Park at the corner of Palmdeo Drive and Rodeo Drive in memory of the victims. We ask that the public avoid the area of the crime scene as police continue to investigate. I am also mindful of the impact this investigation can have on our members and other emergency responders. We all are also offering supports in critical incident debriefs to all affected members. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. I will now introduce uh, Deputy Chief Trish Ferguson and maintenant le chef adjoint Trish Ferguson. Bonjour et bienvenue. 
Cet après-midi, nous allons vous mettre à jour sur un tragique acte de violence à Barhaven. This afternoon, we will update you on a tragic act with four young victims among other victims. It's a very difficult investigation, active and certain details that we will share today are, are, are terrible. Around 22.50 p.m., the service in Ottawa received two calls indicating a incident. Des agents furent immédiatement dépêchés sur agents le were sent et le premier agent on the premises sur place and the first agent on site arrived on site a few minutes after les that. Agents furent identifiés un suspect qui fut the uh, suspect was identified sans incident. and was arrested without incident. Aussi Paramedical teams bientôt. arrived shortly after. Des agents entrèrent, entrèrent dans ce demeure pour vérifier si agents ceux qui se trouvaient à l'intérieur étaient en sûreté. C'est alors sure qu'ils commencèrent à découvrir les six victimes, dont la plus jeune était âgée de moins de trois mois. Et la plus jeune victime était plus jeune que les familles et les défunts, dont plusieurs se trouvaient outre-mer. We uh, contacted the families of the deceased, some of them being ab uh, abroad. One, the father was injured and was transported to the hospital. The victims are Ban Baraniaki, 35 years old. She's the mother of the children. There are two Inuka, Wutamashi, seven years old. Their daughter, Ashtemini. Four years old, Emignana, their daughter, Emignana, two years old, Kelly, and Kelly, their daughter, less than three months old. Also found death, dead, Gabi Amranaki, 40 years old, some, who was living with them. He just he had recently arrived in Canada. There was a blunt object. The cutting object that was used to Deux commit the crime. Two of the children Nous were in uh, registered in local schools. We contacted the school council. We arrested a 19-year-old man, D'Souza, who was accused of six murders and one attempted murder. Qui is au Canada, of comme Sri Lankan dit. nationality, who is Nous in the United We have several questions with re regards to the reason of this tragedy. And our homicide unit is, is working on this to understand this incredible Nos crime to make light on this matter. And a judicial police is working very hard to guarantee a prompt justice. That, this means also that we have to protect the integrity of the investigation. This is an incredible act of violence. And the victims are innocent. Our community is upset by this terrible event, this incredible loss of life is makes no sense, and I want to present my condolences to the family of the victims. We know that the community will be there. I know the pain we felt by the community here in Ottawa and abroad. Support resources for the victims and the community are put in place in the neighborhood and the school to support the community. People who would need such support, please call the, the, the center at the number given. This tragedy will impact our hearts. A vigil will be organized at the corner of Tamadeo and Rodeo, and the premises are, are, are guarded and the investigation is continuing. 
nos membres et d'autres intervenants d'urgence. Investigation could have some impact also on the community and the people in, uh, participating in the investigation. I can uh, answer your questions now. Thank you, Deputy Chief. We will now have some comments from Mayor Mark Sutcliffe. Mayor, the floor is yours. This morning, the residents of our wonderful city woke up to the news of a shocking and devastating event in the beautiful and peaceful community of Barhaven. Cette nouvelle a choqué de nombreux, nombreux résidents de la ville d'Ottawa et bien sûr, the, uh, elle est particulièrement troublée, troublante pour les voisins et tous ceux qui vivent au Impacted the neighbors and everybody living many residents in the neighborhood. Ottawa. And of course, it's particularly troubling to neighbors and anyone living in Barhaven. And I know I speak for my colleagues, uh, Wilson Lowe and David Hill, who are here today, when I say that Barhaven is a wonderful and rapidly growing community filled with warm and welcoming families and neighbors. So it's hard to believe that something like this could happen there or anywhere else in our city. Il est particulièrement troublant pour moi, en tant que parent, d'entendre parler de la perte de quatre, quatre enfants très jeunes. It is particularly troubling for me as a parent to hear of the loss of four children of very young ages. It is very difficult to think about, very difficult to process. Just yesterday, I met a group of students from Barhaven from very close to where this event took place. They came to sing the national anthem before our city council meeting yesterday at City Hall. And it was wonderful to see their bright faces. So it's devastating and heartbreaking to think that only a few minutes away from their school last night, four children and two adults were killed. Comme le chef Stubbs l'a confirmé, je tiens à assurer aux résidents d'Ottawa qu'il n'y a pas de menace pour la sécurité publique. Chief Stubbs a confirmé qu'il n'y a pas de menace pour la sécurité publique. Et je veux personnellement remercier le chef, le député, le service de police et tous les personnels qui ont répondu à cet événement et qui ont été soutenus par ceux affectés par ça. Je veux également remercier le chef, le député, le service de police. I can only imagine how difficult it is to witness such a terrible tragedy, and our emergency personnel uh, deserve our support and gratitude for their work uh, during the last 12 to 14 hours. While it will be difficult for many of us to go about our usual routines in the face of such tragedy, again, there is no risk to the public. We are fortunate to live in a safe city where these events are extremely rare. But everyone, understandably, will react to this news today and feel less safe and secure. To the family and neighbors and friends of those immediately affected by this tragedy, I want you to know that the entire city of Ottawa stands with you. And our thoughts and our prayers extend to each and every one of you during this extremely difficult time. There are resources available to anyone who needs help. Aux familles, voisins et amis, to families, neighbors, impacted by this tragedy, je veux que vous sachiez I want you to know that the entire city of Ottawa is with you, and our thoughts and our prayers are with, goes, go to all, each one of you for during this incredibly difficult period. Community, People will be affected by this. They will be shaken by this. And in the face of this grief and sadness and sorrow, let's pull together as a community. Let's reach out to each other. Let's check in on each other and let's support each other. It is in times of tragedy that we often see the very best in people. And I know that will be true in Barhaven and throughout Ottawa in the hours and days ahead. Thank you very much.